Good morning guys, so welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning. Um, I did actually film all of last week, but it was like so choppy and also my camera was on a setting which was so shaky. I had to keep deleting footage when I was editing it back because it was like annoying me like, and it would have annoyed you guys. So I don't know how much of that I'm gonna have, let me put you down, have in this video. I might put some bits in as we go need to watch through it this morning uh, because there is some updates in that video which I'm gonna talk about in this one. So, this morning, I'm sitting on my floor because this chair behind me is getting picked up at some point this week. Um, I'm returning it. I don't know how much I want to say. I don't want to like bash a company, but I've had a really bad experience with them. <laughs> the chair turned up very dirty. I think I've already said that. And that was the 1st of December, I think. Um, and it's still not been sorted until now. So I'm returning it and I'll just get a full refund. I don't know if I've already said this, but when it arrived, it had the word imperfect like written on the box and then like signed off by someone, which means obviously they already knew it wasn't right to begin with. So I was gonna keep it and get a cleaner. They were gonna send me a cleaner to come clean it. Obviously that can't happen because of COVID, but there's been many chances it could have happened um, before in the last two months. So um, yeah, that's why it's built. So now I had to unbuild it and pack it all back up because I'm not gonna wait any longer. <laughs> gone well not gone downstairs um hopefully they will arrange my career today or tomorrow um otherwise i need to call them and now i need to build a chest of drawers so I, again i think I've, no, i don't think i've told you even this in the last vlog okay so i'll just talk you through it so this room is my office um obviously i spend a lot of time up here the last few months i decided not to make any changes and just kind of live in it just see what I thought about it when I was living in it. So the chair has gone, obviously. Um, the next thing that really, really annoys me are the curtains. This is what they look like. Um, I mean, they're not bad curtains. Uh, they're definitely black eye, which I need because there's such a draft that comes in from this door. But I just don't like the color of them. So I've ordered some linen curtains, which I think have arrived, they're downstairs, to try and put on. Um, the only thing is this room is the attic room. And I'm so cold up here all the time. I don't understand the heating system. <laughs> There's no like make on the heating system. So I've not actually figured out how to use it anyway. The only thing is those curtains are black out and they keep the heat in overnight. Um, that's literally such a pointless story. I'm gonna just change them to linen and hopefully look nicer. The next thing was to change these chest of drawers. I really, really don't like them. I feel like I've had these chest of drawers in my life since like uni, not this exact pair because they always break, but um, this style from Ikea. And yeah, I just think they look so random sat there. However, they are very much a practical thing and I store a lot of things for work in there and I store um, like my camera equipment and just bits and bobs. I needed something there, but um, I wanted something different. So I've been looking on Pinterest and I've seen quite a few images that I liked and I ended up ordering um, a new set, which are right here. So it's actually two days after I started building my flat pack. I did not film anything because I honestly, it took me six hours <laughs> and uh, I ended up having really bad backache because I had to like take the other ones downstairs and I also sliced my thumb open probably can't see but yeah I sliced my thumb open literally like one second in and it just put me in such a bad mood <laughs> um but they're built so let me show you them they're not styled how I want them to be styled yet but I think they look a lot better okay so this is what they look like I need to figure out my print situation um and either hang these or I don't know just decide I was going to do a mirror actually Johnny said not to because there is a mirror here however I don't think it's that much of an issue um but yeah I'm really really chuffed I think it opens up the room so much more and I think it's really nice that when you walk in like you can see kind of into this area it doesn't like it's not blocked off by these ugly chest of drawers so I really really like them I was going to change the handles on them but I actually am not mad at them because they're not like silver, they're like, I'd say like gunmetal silver, is that the right word? <laughs> um, and I just think they're really non-offensive, but yeah, I'm so happy with them. I think they're actually a really lovely chest of drawers. And I ordered some curtains. Um, I went for an off-white colour. They're actually looking quite nice. <sighs> it's really difficult. They look nice now, don't they? I went for an off-white linen because I didn't want white white. However, I mean, they're too dark. They look blue in some lights, but now... I'm a bit confused. Some lights they look really blue. Maybe you can see. Some lights look grey. 
some nights they just look an odd colour. So I'm kind of contemplating if I put them up or if I just send them back and get pure white ones. Right, it's literally the most dull and dark day. So I have some parcels here which we can go through together. So the first is from Elizabeth Arden. I think this is a new serum and a new foundation which I'm excited about. So the serum is a multitasking product, cares like a serum and preps like a primer. Love that. And the foundation is called Flawless Finish Skincare Foundation, formulated, formulated with 87% skin loving ingredients. Cool. Or two shades. Ooh, in this. Um, and I hope this is the right shade for me, but I will let you guys know. I really like this packaging. Very pretty. Tonight's event with GHD, they sent me a lovely box full of stuff, but I'll show you that later before the event starts. This is a blazer from Reese as well, actually. So the jumper I'm wearing, I actually got this blazer to go with it. However, I ordered it in a size four, which was obviously way too small and I did not mean to do that. So I just got it in a size eight and it's stunning. So this is what it looks like. Um, in this beautiful like wool, it has these two pockets on the side there. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like horse riding when I put it on. It's like that kind of smart, like equestrian style. And then it has these beautiful buttons on the front and it's double breasted obviously. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. So I'm very excited to style this up and wear it. <laughs> the other thing I have at the minute is from Amazon because I've been really into Amazon fashion recently. They have some really good pieces on there. I will say there's, there's like a lot to look through but when you find the good stuff it is really good stuff so i often go on the like women's section and then go into a uh, subheading called the drop and i think that's where like all the best pieces are so i picked up a pair of jeans just straight um not straight mom jeans because i have only got one other pair and they're really really old now so i wanted to get a more like proper black pair that doesn't look too washed then i picked up this cardigan oh this is really nice this came in loads of different colors but I went for black just kind of oversized um, slouchy cardigan in a medium. Johnny's paid me a visit. You actually filming? Yeah. Um, this just arrived from Saint Tropez, which is naughty because I'm actually trying to be healthy in the week. But Ashley Graham is their new global ambassador. Let me open this. So I've got a little package through, which is nice. I think it's like cookies. Oh no, I think they're actually like cake pops. And then a top up of the Purity Mist, which is what I use on my face. And also Johnny's been using it on his face, haven't you, honey? Once. <laughs> He's really into Saint Tropez right now, which no. is cool. <laughs> yes, you are. He actually got me to tan his whole body that day. With I mean my whole body. Well, from the waist up. So I had um, tan and my mousse and my mitt on and he looked lovely. Um, and the dogs are awesome up here. Giving you guys a puppy update. I don't have anywhere to put you now that I have this chest of drawers. It's really <laughs> annoying. Everything's, um, nothing's high. Anyway, I haven't given you, what are you eating? A puppy update in, uh, in forever. I think I did actually give you a puppy update in a, why, why are you smoking? Are you smoking? I'm not even looking at you, honey. I'm I did working. give you a puppy update and then that vlog never went up. So look how big he is. He's literally huge. He, what are you eating? Styrofoam. He's way bigger than Bean ever was. And he's already house trained. I don't know if I told you that in last week's vlog, but there. He um, isn't sleeping in the cage anymore, which is really good. And he whittles at night, but he'll like go on a puppy mat at the door. So he's a quick learner. I guess because he's watching Bean though. Oh yeah, he's a happy chap. He's a very loud chap, actually. Like, he literally barks and barks and barks and barks and barks. I think I definitely told you guys that before. And I think you've all heard it. But, um, yeah, we've got a yappy dog. Um, okay, so just before I sign off for the night, I'm going to do... Uh, I've got an online event with GHD. But I thought it might be quite interesting to actually show you how a Zoom event works. I mean, everyone probably knows. But um, this, like, press box gets sent out. And then there's, like, some information on here and here. But what the event is about. It's all about their new um, heat protection range, which I'm excited for. And they've like prescribed, in commas, um, this tool for me. 
which I've never actually used. I do have like one, of, I've used a couple of the curlers actually. The two of them are like barrel curlers, but this one I haven't used before. So I'm intrigued. And then here I have the products. So that's the fix spray, curly ever after spray. Okay, this is the curl hold spray. I actually already used the curl hold spray, so I'm excited to find out why this is new. Whoops, and I think this is the finishing. Yes, the shiny finishing spray. And then in here, obviously, is the tongue. Good morning. So it's actually the next day now. Um, the event last night, the stylist, her internet wasn't working, so the event was like six minutes long, which is so funny. Um, but I was playing around with the curler this morning. I've literally just tied my hair up because of, uh, I was taking pictures and it just wasn't playing ball. But anyway, it was a nice evening and tonight I actually have another event, um, a skincare brand, which will be nice. But I am just showing some pictures this morning and oh my goodness, I think I found something that you guys will absolutely love. So I'm sure loads of you, let me shut this door. I hate vlogging when my door's open. I'm sure loads of you will know who Alice Olivia is on Instagram and she has a really, really cool brand called Because of Alice and it's basically like hero, like capsule items um, that she's designed. Anyway, she very, very, very kindly sent me over some pieces from it and I've just put on the leather, well, faux leather leggings and oh my goodness, so nice. Let me just take this jacket off. Okay, these are what they look like. I'm not joking, these are... 100% actually, I was gonna say quite possibly, but no, 100% the softest faux leather leggings I have ever worn in my life. Like they honestly feel like, they feel like real leather. They feel like butter, like, you know when leather is like butter soft, like you go, oh, it's like butter, buttery. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know, I always say it. Um, that's what they feel like and they also look very real. Here is a better look. So they're high-waisted, um, I've just tucked a jumper in. They have a zip on the bum. There, they're really, really nice fitting. Like they're not super, super tight, but they're not like baggy. Um, and then they've got a little bit of bag around the knees on me, which is fine, I don't mind that. I always think that makes faux leather trousers look more real. Um, and then I have just rolled them at the bottom a little bit, but they do come down a very, very good length. So if you're gonna tuck them into um, boots and stuff, like how good is that length? I just think they are so, so, so nice. So anyway, I actually, this jumper is from Amber the Stories. Necklace is my Soma. Um, I just shot some pictures of that outfit that I'm gonna put up tonight, I think. So I thought I'd show you how I edit my pictures. I think I have shown you that before on Instagram. Uh, not Instagram. Well, yeah, Instagram, but also on YouTube. But yeah, I thought I would just run you through it. So let's go and do that. Because I've gone through my camera roll and I have put the ones that I like into my favorite folder and I've just put them into Lightroom, which is what I'm on now. So all of these kind of like yellow toned ones down the bottom aren't edited. Um, so I go through and I just put my edit on everything and then I'll go through at the end and look at the ones I like. So the first thing is I do, I go into the color thing here and I click mix and I always take the yellow tones out. You can probably see there just how much like less yellow it is. <laughs> and I think it just looks way better. Then I go into light and I take the brightness up a little bit. I can play around with that. And then when I'm shooting indoors on a dark day, which is what today is, I always go into detail and I sharpen the picture because I feel like when it's dark, the pictures look really fuzzy. Currently that's all I'll do. So I'm gonna copy settings and then I'm gonna paste it on all of the ones that I like. This one's closer, so I might need to fix that one because I'm closer to the camera. But I'm gonna just go through, paste them all. Okay, there's quite a lot that I'm choosing between. Paste, paste, oh my goodness, how do you, how many did you take? <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go back into those closer up ones and just have a look what I think needs done. So I think I need to take the yellow down a little bit. So maybe like there, I think I need to put the brightness up. Yeah, and then maybe take sharpen down a teeny, teeny bit. Okay, so then I'm going to go through these and select the ones that I like. Oh, these are some more I shot this morning. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to put them into Tezza. So let me just figure out which ones I like and then I'll show you where I'm going to go next. Now I'm in Tezza. So I'm going to import the ones that I liked. And then I kind of like use a few different filters in here. Um, but 
I always tend to see this the one I edited before, the outfit before. That's like got a preset on it, so I just tend to like copy that edit and paste it on. But I'll talk to you about the edit in a second, don't worry. I think this is like my best one for inside. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah. So fresh is the first filter, and I think it's the best one for inside because it's like bright but not like white. <laughs> and the other ones I use are Inspur, which is here. I always take them down. That's actually quite nice though that color um natural is really nice but i tend to use it a little bit more when i'm outside just because it's um i don't know like it more for outside um but tesla's really really good it's got some really good apps on there i mean filters and then i'll just save there and then i'll send them to group chats and i'll get an opinion from everyone and then i'll put up the one i like <laughs> so that is what i've done this morning actually what is the time it's 12 30 it's been such a slow start i don't know what's wrong with me recently like i find it so hard to get up in the mornings no, that's a lie. I wake up in the morning, but then I just don't want to go out of bed. And I'm just really slow. And then once I'm like dressed and ready, I feel fine. So I think I just need to get my ass back into gear. Anyway, it is Thursday. I am not doing much today. I'm meant to be shooting some outfits tomorrow. So hopefully it's not going to rain. So I'm going to plan for that later. And for this next couple hours, I'm going to just edit this video good morning this was meant to go up yesterday it's now monday morning i didn't get any work done on the weekend because johnny and i ended up having a few drinks on saturday night by a few i mean i think i drank a whole bottle of wine and i was severely hung over yesterday and honestly like i haven't been drunk i think since like last year so um yeah it's like my first hangover of the year and um, yeah, I had a very lazy weekend. <laughs> so I'm feeling fine now, getting there. Oh my God, also look at the weather. It snowed last night. I mean, it's kind of going now, but it was snowing like all morning. All of this was white, but yeah, looks so pretty. Um, so now I am just, I've just come downstairs. I'm going to make a coffee. Then I'm gonna go upstairs and do my nails because well, actually, this, they lasted quite long. I did three layers on this nail varnish. Normally, actually, do you know what? I don't even want a coffee. Uh, okay, let's not have a coffee. Hi, doggie. Uh-oh. Why have we got daddy's shoe? Naughty boy. Bought them this bed. It's all smushed, but it's from a brand called Charlie Chow. And... It's so beautiful and we've wanted this bed for ages, like literally since Bean was a puppy. But I think it was about 300 pounds for the size I wanted. Um, so we just kept holding off and holding off and holding off. And eventually the other day, look how cute you are. You're so cute. The other day, um, I just thought, you know what, let's just get it. Cause the amount of time, uh, sorry, the amount of money we've spent on so many different beds just to end up with, like having to chuck them out because it just gets so wrecked because the quality is not as good. Um, the last one we had was really nice. It was quite expensive as well, but the fur, it was like a black furry one. It just went everywhere. So I got this one. Basically it's like duck feathers, I think. I don't know, down, it's down filled. So it's really comfortable. It's like literally like a human pillow and each segment has like a pillow in it and then the bottom bits of pillow. So yeah, they're loving it. It's super cute. Don't bite me please. Good boy. Um, look how good you are! Hey! Johnny's gone to the butcher's to get some meat. Um, I thought my outfit was quite cute today. These are Zara faux leather trousers. This is an in the style knitted bodysuit from Lorna Lux's range. A little brown Louis Vuitton belt. And I just kind of woke up this morning and was like, okay, get dressed and have a good day. <laughs> I need to go and do my nails now, which I'll do with you, but I need to put the dogs out for a wee, so give me one minute. The first thing I do is use this, which you literally just, well, you have to buff your nails. So I just buff my nails quickly to take the shine off and then you paint this on and it literally crumbles your nail varnish off in like five minutes, which is so good. Like you just paint it on and leave it. And then I use this little scraper and it takes them off, um, which is super handy. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel can you see here, it like cracks the varnish off? Feel your arms around me. I need you more, I need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget. Okay, my nails are prepped. This is always the hard thing for me. I never know what color to do. 
I'm here. <laughs> um, this obviously is like, this is very, very, very sheer. So like when it's on, it just kind of looks like you've got nice, shiny, natural nails. Then I have like the color I had on. This one's really good. It's more like nude, like typical nude. Um, I don't know, I wanna always go for the see-through one. That's what I normally have when I have a manicure, but because obviously my nails are quite roughly done, I feel like you have to have a really good manicure for it to look nice. But then I also use a base coat and a top coat um, from this brand. I don't really care about my brands that I use, though, to be honest, like just whatever. So I do one base coat, two or three colors, one top coat, and then before I do anything, this is a nail hydrate, dehydrator, which you need because it like, I don't know what it does. It like preps your nails basically for um, shellac. And then you need sometimes, so the top coat I have now, you need a wipe with it. Some of them will say no wipe, which is handy. You don't have to wipe off like the sticky residue, but I have all these wipes here, which I just wipe off the top layer with. And um, then I use my lamp here. So I will link everything that I use down below because I've been using it since the first lockdown and I think I've got a good little routine. hand is almost done and this is not and I actually think it's so nice it just gives you like a really sleek looking manicure <laughs> without adding color and here are my finished nails <laughs> I think they look really nice obviously no color or anything but I just think it's nice to have like nicely manicured nails so I think I'm going to finish this vlog here I have edited it back and I will just say I'm sorry that literally 99% of this vlog is me sat in my office. <laughs> um, next week I will make sure to vlog in my kitchen. Um, obviously we're locked down so there's not much to do anyway and obviously I work upstairs in this office a lot of the time and I'm up here most of the day so that's why I'm always in here but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, my curtains are arriving today so that will be in the next vlog. Um, hopefully they look nice because I sent the other ones back and I ordered new ones. I don't know if I told you that. And then next week, yeah, I don't know what's happening really. Valentine's Day and same old. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, anything that I have worn or talked about, I will put down below in the description box and I'll put all my nail stuff down there as well from Amazon. And yeah, I think that's it. Bye.